Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Nurse Catherine here. In today's video, I will be talking about five surprising nursing jobs you may have never heard of before. Before I get this video started, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel right now and please give this video a big thumbs up. But other than that, let's get into today's video. So with a little help from my husband who researched this for me, I have a list of five very surprising nursing careers that you can have that nobody I feel like has ever talked about as I have never really heard of these. I've kind of heard of them, one or two of them maybe in passing, but haven't really thought of them as a career choice. So let's get into number one in no particular order, and that is a cruise ship nurse. These nurses are in charge of inpatient care, outpatient care, and ICU care, all while on a cruise ship. You can go online and you can see openings right now for cruise ship RNs. I went on Indeed today to look it up and I looked at the requirements. What they want you to have is three years of RN experience, a valid passport, ACLS training, and a minimum of 12 weeks that you would be on this cruise ship. Doesn't sound so bad to me. Oh, yeah, that kind of sounds enjoyable. Even better than being on a cruise ship for that long, these nurses get paid very well. They are getting 15,000 a month. We're only seeing 15,000 a month right now for crisis contracts. Imagine crisis contract, cruise ship. Hmm, I think that's an easy choice. So now let's go to number two. The second surprising job that a RN can have is being a nurse for, who is it? The C -I -A. You can be a CIA occupational health nurse. Requirements for becoming a CIA nurse is having nursing experience. You cannot go right into this out of nursing school. You'll have to follow those OSHA programs. You'll have to have knowledge of acute care nursing. And you'll also have to have knowledge in emergency preparedness. These nurses also give immunizations and they also provide education for those CIA members, CIA spies, whatever you want to call them, their overseas travel information that they need to know about going to that next country. Now requirements to be a CIA occupational health nurse is having a bachelor's degree, having five years of experience in either occupational health nursing, emergency room nursing, critical care nursing, or public health nursing. Now I've never worked occupational health myself, but working occupational health for the CIA, I think that would be a pretty cool gig to have. Number three comes in at maybe the most dangerous type of nursing, maybe just because of where you're at, and that would be a correctional facility nurse. Break out of your nursing routine and find freedom behind bars. That is literally from a job posting for a correctional facility nurse. Being a correctional facility nurse reminds me a lot like a hospital nurse. You're in a ward there and you're taking care of patients that are not being sent to the hospital, but that can get care at the correctional facility. You're handing out daily medications and also triaging whether somebody needs to go to the hospital or not. Now, if you were a correctional facility nurse, please comment below. I want to hear from you. If you were a CIA nurse, I don't think you can tell me if you were, not sure, comment below. Or if you were a cruise line nurse, comment below any one of these. And the last two I really wanna hear from as well. But I would love to hear your experiences in this type of nursing because we don't hear of nurses who have done a lot of these different jobs. Okay, so number four, I personally have never heard of, never even thought of this kind of nursing, and it is 
an oil rig nurse. Now this is a whole different kind of nursing because the oil rig nurse may be the only medical professional on that oil rig. So that means you hold a lot of responsibility. These nurses are in charge of physical assessments, taking care of those oil rig workers, but also responding to emergency situations. And a lot of the time, these nurses are the ones calling the shots. Now these nurses have a very dangerous job as they are working out on the oil rigs, especially if this is an oil rig out at sea. If you are working there, think of the wind, think of the waves. That is dangerous as any job out in the middle of the sea would be dangerous. These nurses typically only work a few weeks at a time and then go back on land to have a break. But also remember, this type of nurse has to be very physically fit to be able to do this job. Now new grads, listen up. This is a job that you can take right out of nursing school. You can have a diploma, an associate's degree, or a bachelor's degree to be an oil rig nurse. But I will say, a lot of oil rig nurses either work in the ER or the ICU prior to working at the oil rig. Because think about what I said, they are really one of the, maybe the only medical professional there who's calling the shots and code situations, all of that. And right out of nursing school, I don't really think that's too great of an idea unless you have a lot of medical background. Lastly, number five, my pediatric nurses out there, this one is for you, and that is a camp nurse. You can go online right now, I saw a job posting on Indeed and find a camp nurse position for this upcoming summer. These nurses are responsible for reviewing medical history of all the campers coming in, responding to those daily falls, cuts, bruises, all that kind of stuff, responding to medical alerts, triaging whether this child can stay at the camp or if they need to go get more help. And they are also there to keep parents updated on anything that's going on. And they even give the daily medications for all the children. Requirements for this job is you must work well with children, of course, and hopefully parents too. You must be a graduate of a nursing program. You can work full-time, part-time, PRN at these camps as well. Now this one comes in at the lowest paying position of all of these, which makes sense. It's a camp nurse, and that is only paying $225 a day. So which one interests you the most? Personally, I would say if I wasn't doing travel nursing right now, I would either pick the cruise line nurse or the CIA occupational health nurse, just because I think it'd be cool to work for the CIA. But then also working in a correctional facility, I think could be very rewarding. So maybe there too. So those are my top three. Comment below your top three of these five that you would want to work in, or comment below other nursing careers that you have never heard of before, that you either know somebody working in that career field, or that you yourself have worked there too. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel right now and give this video a big thumbs up. But other than that, that is it for today. I will see you all later in next week's video. See ya.